How are you? It's great to see you. Today we're going to do the art tutorial, fall tree. So let's get started on what we're going to need and then we'll get right into it. As you can see, I have fall leaves for decoration. I'm excited about the changing season. So we need this project. And attached to the back is a bag of leaves. So you may want some help getting the staple out because those are stapled in there. You're going to need glue. You're going to need paint. Any colors are okay because fall leaves can be so many different colors. And I really wanted to add paint into this project because, well, I'll show you why in a little bit. So any colors paint, you could have one color, two colors, three colors, whatever you have. And then you want a paintbrush and something to wash your paintbrush off in. And then water if you get thirsty when you do art. Okay, I'm going to start by putting my paint in a little plate. You can either dip it right into the container, whatever kind of container you have, or you can put it on a little palette or a plate. Just gonna put a little bit. We don't need a lot of paint for this project because mostly the leaves, we're gonna be gluing the leaves to the tree. But I wanted to add the paint. We are going to be making another fall tree in October. And so one of the reasons why I wanted to also use paint in this project is because I want to teach you guys a painting technique that's going to make the leaves look lifelike. So I thought we'll practice on this one and then by the next time we do it you guys will have it down and I can't wait to see all of your fall trees. So you want to get something to write with. Turn your paper over and go ahead and practice Writing your name. Take your time, there's no rush. Okay, so while you are finishing writing up your name, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the fall. It's also called autumn. Autumn and fall are the same things. It's a season. It's one of the four seasons that we have. So we have winter, we have spring, we have summer, and we have fall or autumn. Can we count how many that is? One, two, three, four. Good job. So fall is a time, it's at the end of the summer, and it's September 22nd. So depending on when you're watching this video, it might be the actual first day of fall, or it could be the day after. But it starts on September, at least this year, September 22nd, and it goes all the way through until right before Christmas. So the weather changes a lot in that time, and we're going to talk about why that is in just a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, take your bag and your glue. If you need a paintbrush for your glue, then dip it in a paintbrush. I have the little squeezy bottle. Also, glue sticks work great too. So, can you tell me what this color is? Mm -hmm. Orange. Do you remember how to do that in sign language? You just Put your hand like this right underneath your chin and squeeze it. Orange. How about this color? Yep, that's green, good job. And this is green in sign language, green. How about this one? It's red. So remember to do red, you're going to touch your chin with your first finger and then you're just going to pull it down. 
red, red. And then the last color is, it's yellow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our three fingers in the middle down, get those three down, leave out your pinky and your thumb, and then move it side to side. Yellow. Can you practice with me? I know it's a tough one, but we're gonna get it. You're doing great. Yellow. So, look at your tree and think about where you wanna put the leaves. Now in the fall, part of the reason why it's called fall is because leaves, some leaves of some trees actually fall off. Um, let's see, have you ever raked leaves or maybe jumped and stomped in a big pile of leaves? Super fun. You most likely did that in the fall when all the leaves are falling. So you can put leaves down here like they would fall on the ground. You can put them right here as if they're, fa they're falling. Here, you can put them on any of the branches. Anywhere that you want to put leaves, you can put leaves. So let's count because we also want to make space for painting some leaves. And when I say paint leaves, I'm going to teach you a very simple, um, easy way. It's a method of painting that you're going to love and it'll make your leaves turn out so beautiful. So let's count one, two, Three, four, five, six, you are great at counting, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. I'm going to be using 12 leaves on my project. You can use as many leaves as you want to. You can use two, you can use all of them. Okay. So next I'm gonna take my glue and I'm just going to put little dots of glue on the back of each leaf and then I'm going to take take my time and I'm going to glue it on there and then I'll pick up another, another leaf and I'll put it where I want it and I'll keep doing that until all the leaves that I want on the paper are on the paper. How many leaves are you putting on your on your art? That's great that's going to look amazing. So while we're gonna do that, we're gonna talk a little bit about seasons, especially fall. I've got one leaf on there, it's already so pretty. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. So in the fall, it's when summertime is over. And summertime is when it's very hot outside, especially where we live, sunny, almost all the time. Sometimes you do fun things in the summer, like you might visit the beach, or you might go swimming in a pool, or ice cream might be your favorite treat because it's so nice and cool and it's so hot outside. It's also a time, summer's a time, where it gets dark late. It gets dark later in the evening. In the fall, the weather starts to cool down a bit and it gets darker a little bit earlier in the daytime. And I'm gonna to explain to you exactly how that works. How are your leaves coming? Beautiful. The 
there's really no wrong place you could put these leaves. They're gonna look really pretty everywhere. I would say maybe try to spread them out just a little bit instead of putting them like in one pile, kind of spread them on your paper. But you can do it however you want to. Okay, we've got two more. And then while you guys are finishing your leaves, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit and explain how seasons work. And why does it get warmer in the summer? And why does it get colder in the winter? Winter is right around Christmas. So it gets even cooler around, around winter. And the days, it gets dark even earlier than it does in the fall. And then once, and it, if we're gonna have any sort of cold weather, rain, um, it does rain in the spring too, but it gets cold, sometimes wet, in the winter time. And then when spring comes, it still rains, but it, and it rains so much that everything is green and beautiful. Well, it doesn't rain in Southern California that much, but it still does make um, the land look really green and beautiful. And the trees are growing and there's birds chirping and you see butterflies and the weather is amazing. It's mostly not too hot and not too cold. Great time to spend, spend a lot of time outdoors. And then it gets warmer and warmer and it gets dark later and later. And then we hit summer. So it's like a big circle. Winter, spring, summer, fall. And we do it every single year. You probably associate seasons with holidays that you celebrate. So some common holidays in the fall, we have Halloween, we have Thanksgiving, and we don't quite have Christmas. Christmas is in the wintertime, but those two are pretty big ones. Do you celebrate any other holidays in the fall? Yeah, maybe some of you have a birthday in the fall. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and finish your leaves. I've got myself a little model here. Did you guys bring your imaginations with you? Good, and I see that you also brought your pincher fingers, didn't you? Good job. So we're gonna use our imagination. Can you imagine that this is the planet Earth that we live on? This is the planet Earth. And remember, there's gravity that holds us to the planet. No matter which side we live on, we'll never fall off because the gravity is like a magnet that holds it, holds it in like that. So I'm going to put us, love my drawing, right? I'm like a professional. I'm gonna put us approximately that means around where we are located on the planet Earth. Okay. So here's the top of the planet. Here's the bottom of the planet. And we, here's the middle of the planet. So we're just a little bit lower than the middle of the planet. Okay. And over here, you have Mr. Sun. We're going to pretend like this is the sun. So this is what, there's a little bit of glue maybe. This is what the earth looks like when it's springtime. You see how it's just, it's just straight. It's not tilted. It's perfectly straight. And this is us. And this is the sun. So when we're perfectly straight, we all feel the sun, not the same, not the same, because there's other parts of the world that are really far away from the sun. But a lot of us feel the weather similarly. So in the summertime, 
Are you ready? This is what happens. And it doesn't happen fast. It doesn't happen overnight. It happens a little bit every day, slowly, slowly, slowly. So when it's time to be summer, the earth goes. Sorry, wrong way. This way, it tilts. It tilts up. Can you see us better now that I've tilted it up? Yeah. And do you know what that means? That means we are closer facing the sun than we were in the springtime, right? So that's why it's so warm in the sun is we're actually closer to its rays than we were in the spring. So then in the fall, the planet goes back to being straight. And so in the fall and the spring, the weather is really nice. It's very, for the most part, it's pretty mild. And then when it becomes winter, the earth goes like this. Do you see us very well right now? Yeah, not as easy, right? Because the earth is tilted and this part of the earth is facing the sun. I shouldn't say closer to, facing the sun. See that? So if we're not facing the sun anymore, what kind of weather do you think that we're gonna have? Oops. Yeah, it's you're, we're still always gonna see the sun. We're always gonna see the sun because the sun rays reach out all over the planet. But if we're not facing it, it's gonna be cooler outside because see that? Because that's the top part. The northern hemisphere is facing the sun. And then after fall, I'm sorry, we're with, after winter time, the earth goes back to being straight. So it does that every year. That's pretty cool, huh? And you think about actually our weather being controlled by how much we're facing the sun is pretty amazing. And if that didn't completely make sense, don't worry about it. We're going to talk about it again throughout the year. It's kind of, um, it's kind of a tough subject. It's hard to understand, right? I know it's hard to even understand space and planets. So weather is one of those weather and seasons. Okay. Are you done with your leaves? Beautiful. Do you want to show me? That looks so pretty. You did a great job. I love where you chose to put the leaves. Awesome. We're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to dip. So wait, don't dip your paint in the paintbrush yet. Wait till I show you how to do it and then you guys can do it. Okay. So I'm going to start out with red. And I want a pretty good amount of paint on my paintbrush because I want it to drip. 